Hey folks, it's Muskoka here. Haven't done a video in a while. Been still collecting the TTMs. Got a stack of them here. I figured I should show you some of the recent ones that have come in. And I've pre-ripped the envelopes, so let's go through these. So, this one here. What is this? Uh, oh, geez. Um, so I sent this out to Larry Hillman. Got it back. Uh, but she, it looks like his wife um, passed away May 30th, 31st. Uh, thanks for his card to be signed. Uh, he was a wonderful, giving, kind man with five children and family. Enjoy the playoffs. So, you know. Sincerely, Elizabeth Hillman. Uh, very nice gesture. Uh, unfortunately, I sent it, um, you know, prior to his passing. Would have been a great card to have gotten autographed. Um, but uh, really nice note to have gotten that. Um, and unfortunately, again, uh, Mr. Hillman has passed. Uh, next one. Need a name. Kurt Rambus. Well, my name was there. I might have to send that one back. So that's a bit of a failure from Mr. Kurt Rambus. Next one. Hopefully we get one of these signed. We have, well, I know I've sent this one before. So this is the second attempt at it. So Dan Marawelli, um, NHL referee. Uh, I can't, I think the first time I might have had the address wrong. Uh, so anyways, Mr. Marowelli, thank you very much for sending that through. Next one. Uh, so I can see where that one is, and that's one of my favorite defensemen there. Sweet uh, looking autos, both of St. Louis, where he won the Stanley Cup. This autograph is a little bit... Um, scratched up, but nonetheless, Chris Pronger is a beast. Spent one year in Edmonton, uh, where he almost uh, won them the Stanley Cup Finals. But uh, Mr. Pronger, thank you very much. Those are impressive cards to add to the collection. Next one, Mr. Joel Otto. So I saw that he was TTMing. He's got a nice signature. That one got a little bit. Uh, messed up but uh you got the back of this one with the uh football you know joel otto was a centerman um what was he i think he was a first round pick if i'm not mistaken uh but captain the calgary flames for quite some time so you got two back from him that's really nice thank you i think he actually spent his whole career there too if i'm not mistaken this one seems kind of thin just got the card back so we go to football here, uh, Chuck Long. I only had one of his cards, but and again, nice little sweet autograph here. Uh, this is during his Detroit time. I don't think he had, uh, didn't play many more seasons than this. From what I recall, I could be wrong, but thank you very much, Mr. Chuck Long. I do love those NFL TTMs, just haven't done very many of them. And I think I've gotten this gentleman before. Great, great player, one of my faves, hardworking. Um, Gary Lehman. You know, I, I was worried about sending that one out with the shine, but it actually kind of looks pretty nice. And you got three autographs here. Of course, a couple with the Leafs and uh, where he came from originally with uh, from the Calgary Flames. So that is pretty, pretty sweet. Let's see what some of the back of them say, if anything in particular. No, that one's got his stats, but just a really, really great player left wing heart and soul of the team uh, along with Clark in those times with, with the Leafs and of course he played with Sundin just a tough tough player who worked really really hard next one and oh I thought he didn't sign it but he did so there's a note on this one the teammate in is in on front is Ed Westfall, so they must have screwed this one up. He was nice enough to sign the back of the card, 
So, you know, might have to find another Ken Hodge card there. That one threw me by surprise. But anyways, it's still an autograph nonetheless of one of the greats in my mind. So, of course, six foot one, uh, played with the uh, Chicago, Boston, New York Rangers, and a total of 13 years in the NHL. So that one will go on backwards. We've got another one here for you. So I sent them a note, got a thanks for the note. And Dave Poulin sent four and got all four back. Actually, you know what? I didn't record it, but I didn't think I sent that many, but um, all with the Bruins here. Um, can't remember where he played as well. Well, I guess he played with Philadelphia for a little bit based on that. But I did do believe he spent the majority of his time with the Bruins, and I think he did win a Stanley Cup as well. But just one of those tough centers, uh, you know, penalty killer, um, just, you know, overall hardworking uh, player in the NHL. And thank you very much for those four wonderful autographs. Next one. Oh, and I do remember this one. Oh, no, there we go. Wrong one. So, this one got pretty beaten up. First one I've gotten of its kind, baseball. But Monica Abbott, this is her Sports Illustrated card uh, from the University of Tennessee. Uh, Hall of Famer, and of course, one of the best pitchers of all time. Uh, female pitchers of all time. So, Monica Abbott, thank you very much for sending that through. more to go here folks and this one here so you know Goodwin Champions cards uh, you know they do provide some variety uh, variety of cards that you know don't usually get in sports that I don't usually buy so when I got this I'm like you know what what am I gonna do with these tennis cards and you know I looked it up and I saw that Stan Smith um, um, does TTM I believe he uh, runs an Academy now um, and he was ranked, as you can see in the back here, in 1972 in singles. Um, you know, I'm going to try to chase down some other, um, tennis TTMs, but that is pretty sweet. Mr. Stan Smith. I remember, you know, his uh, running shoes were a big deal back in the time when I was growing up. The Stan the Smith, so. Alrighty. The next one is a hockey from what I can tell. And you've got a defenseman from the New Jersey Devils. I always like the older cards. Both of these, you've got tops and you've got, uh, oh, both tops. Um, but that's pretty sweet. Bruce Driver, uh, back here is his card, is in his fifth year of with the Devils. Uh, and that is pretty sweet. From what I remember, he was more of a defensive defenseman who would put up uh, the odd point here and there. Moving on, and if I said that wrong, I apologize, Mr. Driver. Uh, we go on to a defenseman whose career was cut um, a little bit short with his injury, eye injury in particular. Uh, of course, here's his uh, career with the Leafs. He did come back, uh, played a little bit more time in the NHL, um, you know, played with the Islanders, uh, Canucks, Blackhawks, um, he did have that eye injury, like I mentioned. I enjoyed watching him on the on the play. You know, I know on the on the D, I know some players here or some people here in Toronto weren't a huge fan of him, but I didn't mind them. Uh, you know, pretty good mobile defenseman that had some toughness with him. Moving on, hockey, Randy Lottisor. Uh Back in the Hartford days, always loved collecting Hartford. Quebec Nordiques uh, cards, etc. So this pro set card showed that, you know, he did play for Hartford for the majority of his career sometime in Detroit. And at this point in his career, he had racked up a solid 680 games already uh, playing. And you can see him both captaining the Whalers and assistant captain. Next one. And we go to racing. Greg Biffle. Uh, I've seen him. Uh, race a few times, uh, NASCAR, of course, uh, and, uh, you know, I always liked getting the, the actual race cars, uh, but this is the only card I had of them. Uh, I love getting NASCAR cards signed. Uh, you know, they're always colorful, clean, crisp, look fast. So uh, that's, that's a nice signature to get. 
of course you guys have seen me get guys like Richard Petty in the past so that's pretty nice so I got one back a uh, nice little older player Wayne Carlton uh, a little bit of information on him NHL career 278 games played 55 assists 70, 55 goals 73 assists um 6'2 215 pounds left wing and played for Toronto, Boston and California and of course is pro, uh, portrayed in the Boston Uni here at the front. Always leave those older players. So two more to go folks. And we go to baseball. I love collecting the Montreal Expos as well as the Jays. We got Floyd Humans and honestly I do not remember him as a pitcher. Uh, you can see him here. He's got starting off his career at the Expos. Uh, both of them, I think, are the second year card. Uh, it's, this one here shows his career uh, coming up through the minor, minor system. But uh, Floyd Humans, thank you very much for signing these two wonderful cards. I'm running out of room here. Gonna have to squish these in a bit. And last one, folks. Got a note. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, autographed by Joe Morgan, Red Sox manager. Um, so that is pretty sweet. I believe he is in the Hall of Fame from what I recall. Um, not 100% certain, but I do remember him back in the days uh, battling the Jays on a regular basis. Uh, so really sweet to get a Joe Morgan auto. So folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 autos. And a note from the wife of a deceased hockey player, which is unfortunate. But hopefully that is quite the haul there. You've got hockey. You've got baseball. you got uh, some racing and tennis, of course, and some football. So Muskoka Card Collector here, hoping you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.